Dear learners, welcome to another video on Shwayam. In the last video, we discussed about the concept and features of Shwayam. This video will help you to know more about learning through Shwayam. Let us cast a quick glance at the topic that are going to be covered in this video. We will discuss about both formal and informal learning through Swayam. We will also talk a bit about certification in Swayam and about Arbit. Then we shall proceed to know more about Swayam's four quadrant approach, its content load and weekly plan. How does learning through Swayam help the learners of the present day. Given here is a screen grab from one of the social media handles of MHRD, which is now Ministry of Education. It asserts the importance to switch to the digital mode of education. In times like these, where traditional face-to-face -face education has taken a back seat. Learners must find new ways of learning. Online discussions, video lectures, self-assessment tests, downloadable reading materials, etc. are factors that give online learning a, an edge over traditional learning. This new form of learning has provided very handy in the pandemic situation. It promotes an attitude of self-learning in the learners. This is a screen grab of the student login page of the Swayam portal. Here the students will find all the necessary details related to his or enrollment, the course taken, the details of the students and even the progress that he or she has made in each course. The portal also helps students to stay updated about any notice that is issued regarding the course and course curricula. Hence, the Swayam portal is a helpful tool for the students for their learning. The Swayam platform provides opportunity for both formal and informal learning to its users. It assists the learners with a hassle-free and simple process starting from registration to completion of the course. Let us now look at the procedure of informal learning through Swayam. The first step is to register the Swayam platform. Then the learners can proceed to discover the courses his or her interest and enroll for the same. After this, the learner have the liberty to learn the course at their own place as per their own convenience and pace. When they face any hiccups in the pursuit the, of the course, they can always seek assistance and clarify their doubts in the discussion forums. The learners can then submit their assignments and complete their course. There are so many courses to choose from and the learners can start another course anytime they want to. This promotes the culture of lifelong learning. Now, let us look at the procedures of formal education at the SWAM platform. The registration and enrollment procedures are like the ones in informal learning. Once the learner 
complete the course within the notice timeline they can register for exam and make an online fee payment then they can proceed to take an exam and acquire a certificate based on their performance they can then transfer and integrate the credits towards their academic records in certificate course diploma degree etc the platform is open to the learners to take up as many as courses as they want and keeping adding to their academic profile throughout their life the host institution the one that hosts the course has an accepted and approved evaluation format in place to assess the learners progress a proctored exam is conducted nationwide for all the learners in each course by taking the exam the learners become eligible to earn certificates from the host institution once the credit are earned a learner can then proceed to integrating it with his or her parent institute's evaluation system the ugc regulations 2016 concerning the credit framework for online learning courses through swayam has clearly laid down the guidelines regarding online courses through swayam evaluation and certification credit mobility amendments in rules for seamless integration of mooc etc it states an institution can only allow up to 20% of the total course being offered in a particular program in a semester through online learning courses provided on the swayam platform and the institution is bound to provide adequate assistance to the learners for a seamless learning experience the host institution and parent institution shall be responsible for evaluation in the moocs the evaluation must be carried out based on predefined norms and parameters the host and parent institution should coordinate in matters like conduction of exams credit transfer etc the parent institution must give equivalent credit weightage to the credits and through online courses on swayam platform in the credit plan of the program all institutions are bound by the regulations of ugc and must make a necessary change to incorporate them the ministry of education has launched orpit as a major and unique initiative of online professional development of 15 lakhs higher education faculty using the moocs platform swayam in orpit nrcs will continuously develop new refresher module in their year mark discipline each year and the training material will be uploaded and made available through swayam ugc stated in 2018 that the successful completion of course offered under orpit orpit with 40 hours of instruction material and proctored exam will be treated an equivalent to completing one refresher course for the purpose of career advancement let us now proceed to discuss the four quadrant approach adopted in swayam the basic focus of this approach is to provide the learner with a learning environment that imitates a traditional classroom but with added advantages which means 
that the learner will have access to everything like in a classroom and also get access to some features that were not in place before let us move on the discuss the details of four quadrant approach the first quadrant is e tutorial it contains video and audio content in an organized form it also includes animations simulations video demonstrations virtual labs etc the second quadrant is e content it contains pdfs text ebooks illustrations video demonstrations documents and interactive simulations wherever required in a way it supplements the first quadrant the third quadrant is web resources it contains related links related development of courses open source content on internet case studies books including ebooks research papers and journals anecdotal information historical development of the subject articles etc the fourth and last quadrant is self assessment it contains problem and solutions which could be in the in the form of multiple choice questions fill in the blanks matching questions short answer questions long answer questions different quizzes assignments and solutions discussion forum topics and setting up the faqs and clarification of general misconceptions now let's take a glance at the content load in swayam courses it is very important that the content load is at an optimal level because the learners might have to balance their traditional learning along with the courses taken online swayam courses are designed to offer flexibility to the learners in many aspects such as place and pace of learning ideally four credit courses may have around 40 videos of around 30 minutes which adds up to nearly 20 hours in addition to there will be also we 40 self learning materials or reading modules of nearly 3000 words each a learner can complete one to four credit courses in a span of 4 to 12 weeks without much difficulty given here is a template of the weekly lesson plan for courses on swayam platform the learning outcomes are spread across content activities and assessment the learners get the content to read and learn from then they apply the concepts they learned through activities such as assignments discussions etc at the end the learners are subject to assessment through different means like peer review quizzes different tests etc this video comes to an end thank you for watching follow the next video to know more about teaching through swayam